Hello everyone, how are you? Happy Ramadan to you. We are fasting and we are at home. Uh, lastly, we were uh, at the 8 units. If you remember, let's open our 8 units. And I gave you homework. Uh, I gave you some homework. Please do it on time. And lastly, we are at the page 107. 107. Please open 107. Making suggestions. Making suggestions. Okay, what is it? What is this? Let's have a party. What about playing football? How about playing football this afternoon? We should buy a big birthday cake. Suggestions. Accepting and refusing. So, what is it? Let's talk about it. Making suggestion is öneri. Şimdi, İngilizce'de öneride bulunurken şu üç tane yapıyı kullanıyoruz gençler. Let's, how about and what about. Parti vermek istiyoruz. Mesela parti yapmak istiyoruz. Doğum günümüz yaklaşıyor diyelim. Let's have a party. Bundan sonra direkt fiilimizin yalın hali geliyor. Bear form. How about and what about? How about ve what about? Şunu yapmaya ne dersin? Ve bundan sonra fiilimize mutlaka ing yani ing takısı getirmemiz gerekiyor. What about playing football this afternoon? Or how about playing football this afternoon? Futbol oynamaya ne dersin? And should yapısı var. Should yapısını biliyoruz zaten. Burada da making suggestion. Yani birine öneri verirken mutlaka should kullanabiliriz. We should buy a big birthday cake. Büyük bir doğum günü pastası satın almalıyız. Şimdi önerilerde bulunuyorum. Şunu yapalım, bunu yapmaya denersin. Hadi şunu yapalım gibi. Kabul etme ve reddederken, reddederken de kullanılan bazı yapılar var. Accepting, kabul etmek demek. Refusing, reddetmek. Accepting, that sounds great. Harika fikir. Oh yes, I like hiking. Evet, ben de bunu çok severim. Great, harika. Yes, of course, sure gibi şeyler de eklenebilir. Refusing, zaten... Olumsuz olduğu için bakın bütün e, örneklerde de genellikle olumsuz şeyler var. Mesela I am sorry I can't. Oh no I'm afraid I don't like jogging. Üzgünüm sevmiyorum. I'm afraid I can't. Korkarım yapamam. Şimdi burada I am afraid gördüğümüz zaman afraid kelimesi korkarım demek. Hani üzgünüm korkarım ki yapamam. Hayır olmaz gibi söylemlerin İngilizce'de e, ki ifadelerinden biri. I'm sorry, I'm afraid, I can't, I must study. Mesela bir arkadaşınıza diyorsunuz ki um, Let's go swimming. I'm sorry, I can't, I must, I must do my homework. Üzgünüm gelemem, ödevimi yapmam gerekiyor. Ya da what about, what about watching a movie? Dediğim zaman, oh yes of course, I like watching movies. Evet olur, harika fikir, ben çok severim film izlemeyi gibi kabul etme veya reddetme ifadelerini kullanabiliriz. Let's go to the activities. Yani bu aktiviteleri de yapmıştık beraber, burayı da yapmıştık. Okay. Page 107, activity 10. Match the statements with the suggestions. Here are some statements and here are some suggestions. Bakın. Suggestions, statements. Let's read them one by one. First, there is a lake nearby. I love riding a bike. We have a, te big, we have a big tent. Here is my new racket. There is a great pool near the shopping mall. I want to be fit and healthy. Climbing is my favorite activity. These are statements. Bunlar cümleler, durumlar. 
What about suggestions? Let's look suggestions. What about going to the mountains on Sunday? Hmm. Pazar günü da işte da da gitmeye ne dersin diyor. Let's do exercise at the sports hall. Spor salonunda hadi spor yapalım, egzersiz yapalım. Would you like to go camping? Kampa, kampa gitmek ister misin? Let's go swimming today. Yüzmeye gidelim bugün. Uh, would you like to play tennis? Tenis oynamak ister misin? How about going fishing? Balık tutmaya ne dersin? What about cycling in the park? Parkta bisiklet sürmeye ne dersin? Şimdi bu ifadelerle cümleleri eşleştireceğiz. Mesela There is a lake nearby. Let me open first. Hmm. There is a lake nearby. Yakınlarda bir göl var. Bir göl varsa ne yapmaya giderim? Sıca göle. Of course fishing. How about going fishing? I love riding a bike. Riding a bike. Bisiklet sürmeye bayılırım. What about cycling in the park? Yes. Number three. We have a big tent. Do you know what is tent? Yes. It is çadır in Turkish. Tent. We have a big tent. So, if we have a tent, what should we do? Of course, we are going to go camping. Would you like to go camping? Here is my new racket. Racket. Hmm. Racket hangi sporda kullanılıyordu? Of course, tennis. Would you like to play tennis? There is a great pool near the shopping mall. Pool. What is pool? Havuz değil mi? Havuzda ne yaparız? Yüzmeye gidebiliriz. Let's go swimming. Hadi yüzmeye gidelim. I want to I want to be fit and healthy. Fit ve sağlıklı olmak istiyorsam ne yapmam gerekir? Hangi öneride bulunabilirim? Let's do exercise at the sports hall. Okay. And climbing is my favorite activity. Tırmanmak benim en sevdiğim aktivite. What about going to the mountains on Sunday? Pazar günü dağa gitmeye ne dersin? Okay, next activity. Read and complete the speech bubbles. A, B, C, D, E, F. Here are some. Um, here are some suggestions. Let's read them. Let's read the suggestions first. For example, we should buy a gift for him. Onun için bir hediye al almalıyız. Let's play chess. What about? How about going to the lake? Let's go jogging in the park. What about going cycling? Would you like to watch it? Okay. Ve şimdi durumlara bakacağız beraber. Number one. There is a good comedy at the cinema. Hmm. Cinema and a good comedy movie. So, what is our suggestion? Yes. Would you like to watch it? F. I am bored. Uf. You like walking a lot. Sen yürümeyi çok seversin. Diyorsam hangi öneride bulunuyorumdur? Of course, let's go jogging in the park. I love playing board games. Board games, do you know what are they? Like tic-tac-toe, xox, you know that? One of them is chess. Oh, maybe tic-tac-toe is not a board game. Chess and what was the other game? Okay, when I remember I will tell you. I love playing board games. Tahta oyunlarını seviyorum. Tahtada oynanan oyunlar. Let's play chess. Okay. Hadi satranç oynayalım. It is Tom's birthday on Tuesday. Salı günü Tom'un doğum günü. Diyorsam hangi öneride bulunabilirim? Hediye almamız gerekebilir değil mi? We should buy a gift for him. Fishing is my favorite activity. Balık tutmaya bayılırım. And how about going to the lake? Göle gitmeye ne dersin? I have a new bike. I'm afraid I can't. I must do my school project. Hmm. Yere davet ediyor. O da...
O da I'm afraid I can't. Üzgünüm gelemem yapamam çünkü okul ödevimi bitirmem gerekiyor diyor. I have a new bike. So what is it? What about going cycling? Right? Bisiklet sürmeye ne dersin? O da ne diyor? I'm afraid I can't. I must do my I must do my school project. Yes. Please fill in the blanks in your book. 1F, 2D, 3B, 4A, 5C, 6E. Okay? Can we? What about? Let's and would you like? Complete the dialogue. Diyaloğu tamamlayacağız. Şimdi, can we? Can yapısı nedir? Yapabilir miyiz? Bize bir yani izin alma ve yeteneklerimizi söyleyebilmede kullandığımız bir şey değil mi? Can. Can we? Şunu yapabilir miyiz? We. Biz. What about? Ne dersin? Let's. Hadi. Would you like? Would you like? İster misin? Okay. Genellikle would you like'tan sonra to yapısı gelir. What about'tan sonra ink yapısı geliyordu. Unutmayalım. Let ve can we'den sonra da normal geliyor. Fiilimiz geliyor. Şimdi Tom diyor ki, Tom says, Blah blah to go to the cinema tonight. There is a good film on the, at the, on at the cinema. Sinemada harika bir film var. Bu akşam sinemaya gitmek ister misin? Would you like to go? Would you like kalıbından sonra genellikle to ifadesi gelir. Bakın, to go. Hmm, I'm really tired and I want to stay at home tonight. Buy a DVD and watch it at home. Buy a DVD and watch it at home and it is a question. Diyor ki çok yorgunum. Evde kalmak istiyorum. Bir DVD alıp evde izlemek ve soru işareti. Soru işaretin varsa size ne gelecek? Can we? Bir DVD alıp evde izleyebilir miyiz? Okay. Watching horror movies. Dikkatinizi çekti mi? Ink takısı var. Burada ink takısı varsa hangisini kullanıyorum? What about watching horror movies? Korku filmi izlemeye ne dersin? Oh no! I don't really like them because they are so frightening. Hayır, gerçekten olmaz. Çok korkunç. Alright. Let's buy a comedy film. Hadi o zaman tamam süper şey alalım. Komedi filmi alalım. Great. I love comedies. Harika. Çok severim. Tekrar edecek olursak. Can we? Soru yapısıdır. Alabilir miyiz? Yapabilir miyiz? İzin alırken. Ve yine aslında bir nevi öneride bulunurken kullanabiliriz. What about? Yapmaya ne dersin? Bu da bir soru kalıbıdır. Ve bakın. What about watching horror movies? Soru. There is a question mark. And ink, ing takısı var. Let's, hadi anlamında. Ve normal bir, bakın görüyorsunuz. Sonunda full stop yani nokta var. Normal bir cümle yapısı olarak kullanılabilir. Hadi şunu alalım, hadi anlamında. And would you like, would you like, bakın bu da sorudur. Ve sonuna to gelir. Would you like to go? Mesela, okay? Okay, complete dialogue with the phrases below. Dialogue with the phrases below. Can I invite? But I can't. See you. Would you like? What about? Do you? Must do? Let's. So, we are going to complete the dialogue with the phrases here. Here are two, two uh, people, John and Jason. They are talking about some plans. Let's read it and try to complete it. But before that, what is can I invite? Invite davet etmek. Davet edebilir miyim? Can I invite? But I can't. Ama yapamam. See you. Görüşürüz. Would you like? İster misin? Bu kalıptan sonra genellikle to geliyor demiştik. What about? Ne dersin? Do you? Yapar mısın gibi bir şey gelecek. Bakalım. Must do. Yapmalı. Yapmalı. Let's. 
Hadi. Okay. What is your plan for the weekend? Well, on Saturday, I want to play basketball at the sports center. Bla bla, want to come. Okay. Ben basketbol oynamak istiyorum. Sen de gelmek ister misin? Şimdi bunlardan hangisi olabilir sizce buraya? Soru kalıbı. Do you want to come olur mu? Yes. Do you want to come? John, I am sorry. But I can't. Refusing. Oh, why not? Neden? I have a lot of homework. I must do it. I have a lot of homework. A lot of homework. I must do it. Okay. Blah, blah, going on Sunday. Do you see here is ing? Okay. So, what should I write? What about going on Sunday? I'm not sure. Emin değilim. E, pazar günü gitmeye ne dersin? Emin değilim. Well, blah, blah, to come to park with me and Mike. To varsa ne koyuyordum? Would you like to come? Would you like to come to the party with me? And Mike, we are going roller skating. That's a good idea. Fred, to. Fred, to. Şimdi, Fred'i de bir şey yapabilir miyim diyeceğiz. Na, hangi kelimemiz vardı burada? Invite. Yani, davet etme kelimesi. Can I invite Fred to? Sure. Let's meet at 3 o'clock. Okay. See you on Sunday. Tamam. Hadi üçte buluşalım. Tamamdır. Pazar günü görüşürüz. See you on Sunday. Gördüğünüz gibi see you bir vedalaşma ifadesi olduğu için goodbye gibi en son diyaloğun en sonunu yazdık. Çünkü birilerine mesela selamlarken hello, hi ya da e, tam tersi görüşürüz. İşte ayrımı ve vedalaşma için de see you, goodbye kullanılıyor ve bunlar da diyaloğun en sonuna yazılıyor. Okay. Read the dialogue again and tick true and false box. Okay, let's read them again. What is your uh, plan for the weekend? John says. Jason, well on Saturday I want to play basketball sports center. Do you want to come? I am sorry I can't. John says. Oh, why not? John, I have a lot of homework. I must do it. Jason, okay. What about going on Sunday? Mm, I'm not sure. Jason, well, would you like to come to park with me and Mike? We are going roller skating. John, that's a good idea. Can I invite Fred to? Sure. Let's meet at 3 o'clock. Okay. See you on Sunday. First, Jason plays basketball in the park. In the park? Look, I want to play basketball at the sports center. So it is false. Jason invites John to play basketball. Jason, John'u basketball oynamaya mı davet ediyordu? I want to play basketball. Do you want to come? Yes. John doesn't want to play basketball because he is too tired. Tired? Mm, no, false. John doesn't want to play basketball because he has a lot of homework. He must finish it. They can go to the park on Sunday. They can go to the park on Sunday. Yes, they can. John doesn't like roller skating. No, it is false. Jason wants to invite Fred to, to the park. Jason wants to invite. Who wants to invite Fred to the park? John wants to invite. Şimdi burada diyor ki, Jason Fred'i parka davet etmek istiyor. Ama Fred'i parka davet etmek isteyen kim aslında? John değil mi? Bakalım. Yes. They meet at 3 o'clock on Sunday. At 3 o'clock on Sunday. Yes. This is true. True false aktivitelerinde gençler 
Yalo bir iki kere lütfen tekrar tekrar gözden geçirin. Minik ayrıntılardan soruyu yanlış yapma e, olasılığımız yükselebilir. O yüzden tekrar tekrar gözden geçirelim. Kelimelere çok dikkat edelim. Kişilere çok dikkat edelim. Okay. Turn over the page. We are at the page 110. Read the speech bubbles and write the names. Okay. Konuşma baloncuklarını oku ve isimleri yaz. Okay. Read the speech bubbles and write the names. İsimleri yazacağız. Let's read bubbles first. Then read the questions here and try to find. Hi, Tom. Hi, Jill. Ha. Hi, Tom. Hi, Jill. How is it going? Two. Hi, Mary. Not fine. I am so bored. Let's do something exciting this weekend. Would you like to go camping in the mountains? That sounds exciting. We can also go trekking in the mountains. What about you, Jill? I'm afraid I can't. I must I must do my school project and help my mom because she has a terrible pain in her back. Okay. Invites her friends to go camping. Who invites her friends to go camping? Kim arkadaşlarını kampa gitmeye davet ediyor? Who? Look, this is Mary, this is Jill, and this is Tom. Okay? Who invites her friends to go camping? Camping? Who is she? Yes, she is Mary. Who wants to do something interesting? Interesting. Okay, let's find interesting. I want to do something exciting. Would you like to come? Okay. I am bored. Hmm, maybe Tom. Who? Mary. Hmm. Because she says, let's do something exciting this weekend. Hadi bu hafta sonu heyecanlı bir şeyler yapalım. Yani farklı bir şey yapmak isteyen aslında ortaya fikri atan ilk kişi yani Mary. Okay. Who is busy on the weekend? Hafta sonu kim meşgul? Jill. Değil mi? Ortadaki arkadaşımız. Okay. Let's find... Who thinks camping in, camping is exciting? Kamp yapmanın heyecanlı olduğunu kim düşünüyor? Bakın burada. That sounds exciting. Tom thinks camping is exciting. Who accepts the invitations? Bu e, daveti daveti kim kabul ediyor? Tom değil mi? This person. Who refuses the invitation? Refuse reddetmek. Ortadaki arkadaşımız olan Jill. He is in the middle. Who has a backache? Backache. Hatırlıyor muyuz backache'i? Hadi bulalım burada. Uh, in her back. Hmm, şuradan okuyalım. I am afraid I can't. I must do my school project and help my mom because she has a terrible pain in her back. So who has a backache? Jill's mom. Jill's mom has a backache. She has a terrible pain in her back. Okay. Please write them uh, to your book. Note them. Okay. Read the text and tick the activities they like and cross the activities they dislike. Here is Helen. Here is Jane. Helen and Jane. First, Helen is crazy about playing baseball and lifting weights. She also enjoys skateboarding in her free time, but she hates doing gymnastics or cycling. She thinks trekking is exciting and lots of fun. Jane. Jane does different kinds of sports because she wants to be fit and healthy. She prefers doing gymnastics, skateboarding, 
and cycling. She also enjoys trekking, but she thinks weightlifting is boring. Okay, so what is number one? This is skateboarding, right? What about this? Look, it is weightlifting. This is doing gymnastics, cycling, trekking, and baseball. Okay, Helen, skateboarding. Helen is crazy about playing baseball and lifting weights. So she likes Helen likes baseball, lifting weights, skateboarding, right? But she hates doing gymnastics and cycling. She thinks trekking is exciting and lots of fun. She likes also she also likes trekking. So Helen likes skateboarding. She likes lifting weights. She doesn't like doing gymnastics. She hates cycling. She likes trekking. She thinks trekking is exciting and she loves she is crazy about playing baseball. What about Jane? Jane. This is Jane. Okay. Skateboarding. Let's find skateboarding. She prefers doing gymnastics and skateboarding and cycling. Okay. And she enjoys trekking, but she thinks weightlifting is boring. Okay. Jane likes skateboarding. She doesn't like weightlifting. She likes doing gymnastics. She likes cycling. She likes trekking. She likes, let's see, there's no information about baseball, right? Yani burada Jane'in beyzbolla ilgili herhangi bir aktivitesinden ya da e, sevip sevmediğinden bahsetmediği için beyzboldu. Jane kısmında beyzbolu boş bırakıyoruz. Evet gençler, practice book'ta e, o aktivitede kaldık. Bir sonraki derste devam edeceğim. Şimdi sizlere vermiş olduğum ödevin cevaplarını beraber kontrol edelim. Vocabulary book, sayfa 55. Page 55, vocabulary book. This is your homework. First activity, match the phrases. Ride, do, climb, go, lift, and play. Weights, trekking, workout, volleyball, bicycle, a bicycle, mountains. Ride, what is ride? Ride a bicycle. Do, do workout, climb mountains, go trekking, lift weights and play volleyball. Put the letters in the correct order. Harfler karışık verilmiş. Bakalım sporları bulabiliyor muyuz? What is number one? Swimming. Okay. What is number two? Cycling. What is number three? Number three. I think it is camping. Yes. And number four? Jogging. Number five? Trekking. And last one. What is this? Skiing. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Match sports with the names. Okay. Weight lifting. Weight lifting. G. Okay. Where is G? Here. Weight lifting. Skiing. Where is skiing? D. Where is D? Here. Okay. Ice. Skating, ice skating. J, where J here? Evet, skiing kayak yapmak. Bakın, ice skating de buz pateni. Skateboarding. B, 
sporları iyi bilelim. Bu da kaykay. Climb mountains. Dağlara tırmanmak. Hangisi? Are. Are here. Horse riding. Horse riding. Atabilme. A. Yes, this one. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. E. Do you see? Bowling. N. Look at here. Swimming. Let's find swimming. Where is swimming? F. F. Playing volleyball. P. Trekking. O. Jogging. Jogging. Where is jogging? Ah, where is jogging? H. Cycling. You see? Cycling. Riding a bike. M. Roller skating. Roller skating. I. Sailing. Yelkenliyle. Seyahat etmek. Yelkenli. Here. Do you see? L. Diving. Dalış yapmak. Diving. Where is diving? Where is diving? Do you see? Ah, yes, I see. K. Wall climbing. Wall climbing. Oh, here. Q. And camping. Camping here. Do you see? C. Okay. Okay, let's go. We have this activity. I will I will say the words and their meanings and open the uh, answers for you. Volleyball, volleyball. Skiing, kayak yapmak. Lake, göl. Tent, çadır. Swimming, yüzme. <gülüyor> lift, lift, kaldırmak. Trekking, doğa yürüyüş yapmak. Sport hall, spor merkezi, spor salonu. Repeat, tekrar etmek. Interested, ilgilenmek. Cycling, bisiklet sürmek. Board games, tahta oyunları. Workout, antrenman yapmak, evde e, cimnastik gibi. Kicking, vurmak. Alone, yalnız. Fitness, fitness. Hit, vurmak. Let's open one by one. I like winter because I can go. Kışları seviyorum çünkü nereye gidebilirim? Kayak kapmaya. Skiing. Do you do any sports? Yes, I play after school on Fridays. Play dediği için voleybol var dışıklarda. O yüzden sadece voleybol uygun. I like bla bla but I don't have a bike. Hmm. Bisikletim yok ama bir şeyi çok seviyorum. Cycling. My father isn't fit. Because he doesn't do workout. Babam fit değil çünkü hiç antrenman yani spor yapmıyor. I like in the sea. It's my favorite activity in summer. In the sea. Denizde. Ne yapalım? Of course swimming. There is a big blah blah in my town. You can swim, play, t table tennis and do many other things there. Sport hall. Spor salonu. Orada yüzebilirsin. Masa tenisi oynayabilirsin ve başka bir sürü şey yapabilirsin. What activity do you like? What fitness activity do you like? Okay. I like jogging. It's great fun. I love blah blah. My favorite one is checkers. Evet, dama. Checkers'ı hatırlarsınız. Dama nedir? Board game. John is very strong. He can lift weights. My father goes fishing in the... Lake near our house every weekend. Do you want to go camping with us this weekend? I'm afraid I can't. I don't have a tent. Would you like to go bowling tomorrow? Sorry. Could you repeat please? Anlamadım tekrar eder misin? Are you interested in horse riding? Yes, I like it. John likes nature. He goes... Raking in the mountains on the weekend. You hit the ball with a racket in tennis. Tennis oyununda topu bir raketle vuruyorsun. Can you play football, Jim? No, I can't. I'm not good at kicking the ball. And 
Do you go to the leisure center alone or with your friends? Ee, yalnız mı gidiyorsun yoksa arkadaşlarınla mı gidiyorsun? Lütfen gençler ödevlerinizi kontrol edin. Evet burada bırakıyorum. Şimdi 8. üniteyi bitirdiğimiz zaman buranın devamını da ödev olarak vereceğim. Kendinize iyi bakın. Görüşmek üzere. See you.